Hello. All right. So since yesterday, my phone had well, today being the day after, my <clears throat> phone has actually been blowing up with people calling me, asking me for my opinion on the um, events that has unfolded. Or right, let's talk about. Let's go back in in time for a bit. The events that unfolded. For those of you in the automotive world, um, you may have heard about the recent. Well, depending on the time in which you're watching this event that had occurred at Vernon Field in Clarendon, in the area called Gimme Bit, in which a 2000 a Toyota Supra actually veered off track and impacted some members of the crowd or spectators, rather. Now. Many of you, I've seen so many social media posts in regards to why didn't Kenti um, cancel or postpone this particular event due to another unfortunate, um, unscrupulous thing that had occurred in which um, in unknown individuals had actually mischievously poured oil on the track, sabotaging the, in it possibly in an attempt to sabotage the event in question that is something that's something i can't um, answer i would not be in any way shape or form qualified to answer that particular <clears throat> one however on the basis that the event in question would have been would have had some amount of planning done with event various other event organizers security those who provide um food it's not going to be a very easy um question to answer and then that particular day would have also clashed with another event that automotive event that was occurring in bogwalk folks would have some folks may have some speculation in that too why the dumping of the 50 gallons of oil that is quite an exorbitant amount but alas yes However, looking at the actual images in question, or that's so, um, going around via social media, that looks like pretty fresh oil, like oil that has been unused or barely used. Um, <clears throat> and systematically placed at several areas of the track so you can't just simply say, okay, advance the start line further down the track so that there would be adequate um, spacing to you. So the burnout area that was completely um, lubed up and interesting other places of the track. Now, I have seen, or I have seen various comments from people on social media and others that speak about the oil being a contributing factor. Yes, I'm not, I'm not, an expert as it relates to uh, friction and all that stuff between the tires and the, and the ground. Okay, so let's go back in history. I used to spec. Um, I used to actually participate at these drag racing events, but back then that was when the NDRC used to be the ones actually managing the events. Why I speak about NDRC? I know with the NDRC safety comes. First, as in there is a whole lot of a bit more planning preparation. Not saying that Kenti did not do necessary planning, but things like the barrier situation, specifically the tires that they had um, the, along either side. Uh, I think with the NDRC, they would have most likely have had those tires tied together, such that if you impact one, you would have to be dragging all of them uh, to some point in which the vehicle would have um, stopped. So my recommendation in that particular case would have been to, of course, tie the tires together if you're going to do that sort of event. Also include some, some amount of sandbags, you know, to support the tires. If anything, it's easier to just dissipate um it's going to be much more tricky to 
dissipate that kinetic energy to bring and of course ultimately would have brought the vehicle to a stop much earlier than hitting the crowd but do you know it? it's a toyota with the two jz baby so with that in mind there is going to um <clears throat> it's going to be a massive uh, monster now as it relates to the vehicle in itself what i think happened and based on a pretty interesting voice note that i actually um um heard which to me sounds most plausible based on looking at the at some of these videos that are circulating around and if you look at where the smoke had occurred it would have been in the differential area for so it's a rear wheel drive um vehicle with a longitudinally um arranged engine meaning the <clears throat> uh, no steel con um, configuration so what i suspect would have happened based on um what was stated in that voice note which to me was um which to me was the most plausible explanation i've heard so far and to me makes sense looking at the video of where the smoke had actually come from it would have actually been either the differential but fu but fundamentally though i would actually put it down to the axle giving away so in jamaica we say axle fly or axle get cut or axle get chopped but that would typically indicate a shattering of the axle or practically more or even more practical in this case the axle splines so you would have so left and right wheel would actually have an axle um each the axle goes into the differential but that would be connected by splines splines that would have been machine cut easy for the splines to just simply shear off or worse yet easy for the differential to actually um blow up or disintegrate on one side unfortunately thus so you could have you could have damage to more uh, to the right axle for argument's sake thus having all the power going to the left axle which well that would this is my left but this would be your left because you're looking at at me here so with that in mind yeah so you now have the right wheel the left wheel the only wheel that actually has the power going to it and of course the vehicle is going to naturally veer to the right so it's not a case where the driver swerves um intentionally swerved off into the spectators there this situation has been very unfortunate nothing to joke um joke about i would say respect um rest in peace to the deceased and my condolences to the family now there would be some pretty legal i can imagine there would be some pretty legal interesting ramifications for the outcome of this particular event uh probably somewhere between the driver and the organizer of the event because someone somewhere may probably hint at Sorry, I'm a bit exhausted. I've had a pretty busy day today. Yeah, I may have hinted at um, involuntary manslaughter, but, you know, cars are man-made. Anything can mechanically fail. Uh, for those of you familiar with Murphy's Law, it has been a very unfortunate time for it, for a, put such a failure to happen. If there was an issue with tires, this would have been evident um, when, once the vehicle had been brought to complete stop. And as they were rolling it onto the trailer, you would have heard of some evidence of tire failure. You know, tire deflate or uh, layers of the tire um, stripping or something. And if so, you'd have seen it in the evidence of it in the actual burnout itself it would have been left defect tires defective tire would have been left on the track if it was a situation of um for the oil oil would have been left on it evidently left there on the tire as well because as the vehicle is being put 
back on put on the record people will be checking for all that stuff if that has not been reported you know you could probably end up ruling that one out because any tire that would and the surface in question would have also been prepared using the famous trap white um, stuff and so nobody would have intentionally gone and put oil track bites on an area that was known to have been covered with oil. They would have done their necessary homework, doing the necessary mopping up. Now, there was a particular news agency, I don't want to list, um, I don't want to call names, that had described, I can't recall the correct wording, a particular substance. That to, that to me, in my opinion, would have just been, from what I, I'm seeing there, it was just regular plain old so sawdust. So you sawdust to mop up all the loose oil, and then afterwards they would have most likely have gone, gotten some water, washed that, um, washed the rest of it away, and of course use some sort of detergent to try to get, break down the oil as much as possible. But I guess this is interesting days. Uh, the necessary authorities are looking into the matter, so it doesn't make sense for me to comment or add to any more of this speculation that is going on. In a few days, all will be come to will come to light. Hope that the fam various family members, friends, associates of the deceased can get some closure into the matter, because at the end of the day. We can play the game, blame game to say who should have done what when, but at the end of the day, it's we have to just let the necessary authorities and various governing bodies uh, <clears throat> do the necessary due diligence and wishing for you all a good one. Stay safe. Happy motoring. And everything you do, do it safe.